Today, I want to thank Lynette, Melissa, Wendy, and Emily for joining us. They are all well-being champions with the Clinical Nurse Specialist, Clinical Resource Nurse Group. Lynette, Wendy, and Emily are all located in Rochester, and Melissa is joining me here from Northwest Wisconsin. They all work together as champions, and so we want to ask them some questions about their unique situation today. Lynette, what is your favorite activity or initiative that you've done as a well-being champion? I've been a well-being champion for several years now, and but several years ago, pre-COVID, we had a CNS um, retreat where we all came together, and the two other um, well-being champions and myself, we decided to dress up as those little T-Rex costumes, and we came out throwing headbands out because we were going to have everyone dance to a "Sweating with the Oldies" um, Richard Simmons video. The laughter that ensued was classic. And in fact, we still hear comments years later that it was the most favorite activity ever. We then got up to present a PowerPoint to the entire group that it was gonna be a super serious PowerPoint as we're presenting in our T-Rex costumes. And, but it ended up being just a hilarious time and not really a serious PowerPoint. Several years ago, we found within our staff satisfaction surveys that our stress level was sky high, right? Just like everybody else's. So they have made it a priority to have within our meetings, and we meet twice a month as a clinical nurse specialist CRM group, to um, have definitely a well being moment at each meeting. So we have five to 10 minutes. Sometimes we take more if our activity is a little more, but we always do have something for our team. Wendy, calling on you. So what is your favorite activity? I would say um, one of my favorite activities too includes dressing up. We've done that a lot um, lately over the last several years. So for my own unit, um, just taking it a step further um, for nurses week, I dressed up like Willy Wonka and um, had a candy cart with balloons and like all these old timey candies that the staff really loved too. So just taking it that step further um, for my staff as well. How do you decide where to focus your time and energy in this role? Really depends on what our group might need at that moment in time. So, you know, do we need a laugh um, or do we need some introspection? Do we need to look more at gratitude? Um, do we need a social event? Haven't we gotten together in a while and so maybe we need a happy hour or something? Or is it um, a pick me up that we need or even just, you know, some activity during the meeting because we know it's going to be a longer meeting with some heavy content. And so just getting some of that physical activity in there too. We just kind of as a group look at like, okay, what do we need right now? What's the feeling of the group? And um, we kind of go from there. Melissa. So favorite activity? We did a, Wales, a Where's Waldo theme at um, the CNS CRN retreat that Lynette had previously mentioned. Our most recent one post pandemic, um, we were able to get back together in person. And what we did was created a slideshow that was where do you find your wellness? Um, team members submitted their pictures of hiking or with family. And Emily was able to work with her administrative assistant to get little tiny where's Waldos embedded in everyone's pictures. So as they're going through this slideshow, they started to notice, wait a second, I think there's little where's Waldos, everyone. You could hear all of the laughter as they tried to figure it out. And then at the end of the slideshow, um, we started to pop out of the auditorium all dressed as where's Waldo saying, well, where are your wellness champions? Here we are. Um, and then we went into a little wellness exercise where we, as where's Waldo's, had them copy us into like a wave sort of dance move um, while they were still in the, the stadium or the auditorium seats. And um, we made a TikTok out of that. Uh, but I wanted to share that um, it was because of the dinosaur story that I became a wellness champion. I'm newer to the organization. And as part of my orientation, I shadowed Wendy for a bit of time where I heard about all of the fun that they had. And our leadership or my direct leadership was very supportive of the well-being champion group when I told them I got to be in on that team because that's where all the fun is happening. And they were very um, welcoming. How do you collaborate and make this work knowing that you are geographically apart? 
from meeting Wendy in person to then being able to meet Lynette and Emily and the other team members in person. In between, the communication has always been seamless and never stopped. We're very good at using our technology, whether it's through Teams or through email. So just sending quick chats and quick information through that, um, that method has been a great way for us to stay in touch and collaborate. Emily, so what is your favorite activity? I think my favorite is probably bringing humor into our daily lives. And so one thing that we did was we asked everyone to send us their favorite memes. And we are all uh, spread across um, inpatient, outpatient, ambulatory, permanently remote staff. And so everyone sent us a funny meme and we asked everyone to come off of mute, which is kind of awkward for everyone to come off mute. And then we all just like laugh together at the memes that were sent in. Um, it's a, it was really simple, but we got a lot of compliments on that one. What changes have you seen in you know, yourself or leaders or your team um, as a result of your role as a champion? Um, let's see, changes that I've seen in myself, I think bringing uh, wellness and sharing it with other people has brought more wellness to myself. I think our leaders, I think they really value wellness as part of our group. And we always strive to continue to find ways to incorporate that. And I appreciate that they prioritize wellness into our teams and continue to look for ways to improve. And I think overall in the team, I think what's unique about our CNS CRN group is like I said, we're spread apart. And so we all have a chance to impact multiple different nursing units. And so um, maybe that's a unit inpatient, maybe that's a unit outpatient, maybe that's a unit that permanently works remote, but we all have a unique opportunity to really impact patients uh, through impacting the staff that help them. You described it perfectly well, how wellness can earn well-being and weaving it in can have that ripple effect. So not just on us, but those around us. And then um, you had mentioned to our patients. So I like hearing it. So I want to thank you all for joining us today, for sharing your story, for sharing more about what your team does. Because um, the more I learn from each of you, the um, more joy it brings to my day as well.